This is my quick video review for Lizzie Borden takes an axe and I'm just gonna be uh, very cut and dry with this review. Uh, basically, this was just another night on the Netflix. It was another movie. Um, what I knew about the case and exactly, I'll, I'll give a synopsis first. Basically, this movie is about a murder that takes place in the late 1800s, um, going on the turn of the century into the 1900s. There's a murder. And this one girl, her parents get murdered, her and her sister are in the house, but they all believe it's this one girl because it's very suspicious circumstances, and she's a sketchy girl. And the reason, um, like, some parts are, like, a little bit, you know, questionable about this was uh, women back then weren't, like, uh, they weren't considered, like, people even, so it was like, they can't kill people, they're not... And, they didn't get out of jail, they went to insane asylums, it was all uh, interesting in that regard. I don't have any problems with the source material, it was just, nothing really grabbed me in this movie. Um, some some of the directing was fine, you know, there's some cool shots and memorable moments. Other than that, I didn't feel that much with this movie, it was just another movie to me. Um, I like, almost went in and out, like, my attention span was just like, not there with it. And that's why I'm doing this kind of review, like, the uh, the 5 out of 10s, I don't even want to put in that extra effort uh, to make a full review for it, like, it's not something I want to talk about, it's just something I know I will never watch again, and I do want to get my opinions out for whatever I can, and I do want to, like, touch upon it, as many movies as I can, so I feel this is the best way I can do that. Um, but if you guys are interested, and if you know anything about this case, maybe that will make it more of an experience for you. Um, you know, psychological thrillers, if that's your kind of thing, might be worth checking out, you know. Uh, some people, you know, got 43 on Rotten Tomatoes at this point in time, so, hey, uh, some people like it, so, if it's your thing, let me know. If not, then... Maybe you're in my camp. Anyway, um, just some you guys can check out, add it to your list, whatever you want to do. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, personally, average movie. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, you can leave a comment, follow my Twitter, my Patreon, all that good stuff, and with that, I leave you.